welcome back to my channel once again and on this tutorial today i'm going to be putting you guys through on how you can mix a backup vocals on how you can crowd up your vocals to bring that kind of ashake kind of crowd vocals on your mix so on this mix today we are only going to be talking about the backup vocals so the lead vocals is not yet mixed so i'm going to be playing everything together for you to see how it's the backup sound mix but for the lead vocals it's not yet mixed so i just want us to focus on the backup vocals for now so we're gonna be focusing on the backup vocals for now so let's take a listen to the backup vocals and see how it sounds Oh yeah, show me your mom. Oh yeah, show me your mom. Oh yeah, show me your dad. Oh yeah, show me your dad. Oh yeah, show me your brother gone. Oh yeah, show me your sister gone. Oh yeah, show me your mom. Oh yeah, show me your mom. Oh yeah, show me your dad. Oh yeah, show me your dad. Oh yeah, show me your brother gone. Oh yeah, show me your sister gone. As you can see, me I no get the time for your problem. As you can see, me I no get the time for their problem, yo. As you can see. Money day man mind I go chase after the mool As you can see Then no fit round my race I go run down to the end I need that color be me Just color be me Just give me the loving Make that color be you Just give me the love Just give me the loving uh. I give you money You give me back so alright guys i just want you to put on your headset and see what we are about to do so just get your headset and put it on so for now we are going to be focusing only on this pack of vocals this is the back vocals that we are going to be focusing on this is one two three four five and this is six so i want you to pay attention to whatever i'm going to be doing here this is our lead vocals the one at the top is our lead vocals which we are not going to be doing anything on that for now because that is our lead vocals so i only mix the back of vocals just to bring this class to you guys so that you guys will understand what i am doing so as you can see i have some vocals here some back of vocals which actually sound very very different so let's take a listen to how it sound um so i'm going to be muting everything and then i'll mute everything and then we are going to be playing then after the other so for this one oh yeah show me your mom oh yeah show me your mom oh yeah show me your dad oh yeah show me your dad oh. so you can see we have uh i have a backup vocals here we have a backup here which i did which sounds this way oh yeah show me your mommy oh yeah show me your daddy as you can see um oh that was i uh, after recording that so it's oh yeah like, show me your mommy so i have another one which i recorded which sounds this way also oh yeah show me your mommy oh yeah show me your dad so i also have another one also that sounds this way also so which sounds this way oh yeah show me your mommy oh yeah show me your daddy so i also have another one which i recorded also which sounds this one that was the fifth one yeah no the fourth oh, yeah, show me your oh, yeah, show me your daddy. so as you can see they all sound very very different but which this one also sound different all right so what i'm going to be doing here is that um i'm going to be taking up every process i have done on this i'm going to be muting everything everything that i have done here so i'm going to be muting everything while we listen to it in a very rough form both with my backup and everything so i'm going to be playing it one after the other for you to listen oh yeah show me your mom oh yeah show me your dad oh yeah show me your dad oh yeah show me your bro oh yeah show me your mommy oh yeah show me your daddy oh yeah show me your mommy so all together everything sounds this way so first of all so when i first record everything i like to oh yeah show me your mommy oh yeah show me your daddy gone oh yeah show me your sister gone Oh yeah, show me your mommy. Oh yeah, show me your mommy. Oh, yeah. So once I do this, um, things first things I like to do is um, go through the vo backup vocals. I I open this, and then I try to um try to tame the volume. For this, I didn't touch the volume. So my first one, I don't like to touch the volume. So I like to leave it uh, as normal. So just leave it there. I like to leave it at the center, and then I have to send it to track two which if you count everything i have here all my backup here was one two three four five six everything is six so i like to send my first backup to to my lead vocals like this is this is this uh channel two here 
track two here is my lead vocals this is where i send my lead vocals to this is where i want to mix my lead vocals which as you can see there's no plugin inside apart from autotune as you can see there is no plugin inside the lead vocals apart from the autotune now let's talk about now let's see the second backup i did that sounds this way oh yeah show the sounds this way oh yeah show me your mommy i sent it to to three as you can see so this one was sent to channel three so i only have three tracks for my backup why i have about six uh six crowd backup i have to i have to bring out here i don't know if you understand what i'm trying to do but i'll try as much to make you understand it very well so i have about um three so i'm sending this to three why i have to reduce the volume into the mid range i didn't pound it i just leave it at the middle and even this one i sent to the lead vocals also track track two i didn't pound it i leave it there so i have this one also which um i also sent to track five as you can see this is track five i sent this one to track five so i didn't touch anything there as you can see i only pound this a little bit uh, as you can see to about uh 50 percent left that was what i did here and then i have i also have this one which i also sent to four track four this is my track four and only have auto tune there i put some auto tune there also in track four so what i did there was just i didn't pound anything in track four i just i just reduced the volume of the uh, backup to make it balance with the other rest of the backup and then the crowd so as you can see when i was recording the crowd the recording the the backup crowd uh, i have to like try to keep some off key so sometimes one thing about uh, auto tune is that when an auto tune clash together like when you send an auto tune to when you send an auto tune to the same track of where there is auto tune and they are all singing equal as in singing the same time um the other one have to like the other one at the bottom have to give rooms for the other one to to sound clear so the other one will go off key so i'm not supposed to be sending two two tracks to track five but the reason why i'm doing it is because i wanted to achieve um i wanted to achieve something something off key so i did that to like when they also to come together the song will go off key and why song will stay cool so that was the reason why i am doing that so in the track five i have to pound to about 45 percent it doesn't matter how you pound it just doesn't have rules i have just have to reduce the volume of the backup depending on how i'm listening to it in my ears so i did the same thing for this one also as you can see which i pound and reduce them the volume sent to track three and that was all i did so when i went into three four five i sent auto tune to it which my key was d minor as you can see my auto tune i raised the volume of my auto tune all the way to seven and i didn't touch anything apart from what i did here so with that they all stand this way together oh yeah show me your mommy oh yeah show me your daddy Oh yeah, show me your mommy, show me your dad. Oh yeah, show me your dad. Oh yeah, show me your brother gone. Oh yeah, show me your sister gone. Oh yeah, show me your mommy. Oh yeah, show me your mommy. Oh yeah, show me your dad. Oh yeah, show me your dad. Oh yeah, show me your brother gone. Oh yeah, show me your sister gone. So when it comes to the mixing, as you can see, I have to route everything. My my the six backup, everything I have to send it to three, four, five. I have to send everything right to this backup box here which i started to add my 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 this thing this is the place i started to add um my eq my reverb and some other stuff so let's see what i did here and let's see i'm going to be turning off all the whole plugin i have used in this in this stuff to achieve great sound so first of all one of the things i decided to add was to add again and this is a stock plugin for nail studio i added the gain and reduced the volume of the gain a little bit as you can see to about, about minus 5.6 db because i wanted everything to be at equal level so let's take a listing oh yeah show me your mom oh yeah show me your dad oh yeah show me your dad oh yeah show me your brother gone oh yeah show me your sister gone oh yeah show me your mom oh yeah show me your mom oh yeah show me your dad so once i added the gain you can see that it turned the volume of it down a little bit so let's take a listing let me remove the gain Oh yeah, show me your mom. Oh yeah, show me. We take with again. Oh yeah, show me your mom. Oh yeah. So it, it brings it down to like 
relax in the ear so that was the reason why i did that so the second thing i decided to add was um, was an eq or uh, this is a regular eq which i have to just remove some rumbles on low end i just have to take them out um as you can see so that's all i did there and it sounds this way understand what i am doing just try to get your a headset and so let's see what we can do so the next thing i added was the sss compressor this is from wave and then once i add this i just do this the reason why i add this compressor was to glue my backups together glue those crowd sounds together because i don't want them to be sounding separate from each other i want them to be able to glue themselves together and communicate with each other be as one that was the reason why i use this compressor i don't like to touch anything in this compressor i leave it at the default setting and i am good to go so i just leave it there oh yeah show me your mommy oh yeah show me your dad oh yeah show me your dad oh yeah show me your brother gone oh yeah show me your sister gone oh yeah show me your mommy oh yeah show me your dad oh yeah show me your dad oh yeah show me your brother gone oh yeah show me your oh yeah show me your mommy oh yeah show me your dad oh yeah show me your dad oh yeah show me your brother gone so the next thing i wanted to add was to add a, a gate plugin to it just to remove some kind of background sound which i have to set my threshold to about minus 4.47 uh, as you can see this is what i did that's the only thing i did and the reason why i'm adding this was to remove some background sound that you can't actually listen to but they are there i just have to like clean them up from the bottom of the vocals that was what i did there so the next thing i decided to add was to add a vocal rider to it and the reason why i'm adding this vocal rider to it was just to tame the volume of my backup to, um, to tame the volume of it like let them start equally once everything go higher it's going to bring it down to around the zero which i set it to so let's take a listing oh yeah show me your mommy oh yeah show me your dad oh yeah show me your dad oh yeah show me your brother gone oh yeah show me your sister gone oh yeah show me your mommy oh yeah show me your mommy oh yeah show me your dad oh yeah show me your dad oh yeah show me your brother gone Oh yeah, show me your mom. Oh yeah, show me your dad. Oh yeah, show me your brother. Oh yeah, show me your brother. Gone. Oh yeah, show me your sister. Gone. Oh yeah, show me your mom. Oh yeah, show me your mom. Oh yeah, show me your dad. Oh yeah, show me your dad. Oh yeah, show me your brother. Gone. Oh yeah, show me your sister. Gone. All right. So the next thing that I, I wanted to do, the um, the next thing I added was to was a doubler, a vocal doubler. This is a um, this is some wave also. So what I like to do was just to remove the rumbles here as you can see just get that re get rid of this and then i just leave it there so i have to just re reduce the mix level here as you can see just turn down the volume all the way to about um about 53 or 52 percent and then let let's play and see oh yeah show me your mom oh yeah show me your dad oh yeah show me your dad oh yeah show me your brother gone oh yeah show me your sister gone Oh yeah, show me your mom. Oh yeah, show me your mom. Oh yeah, show me your dad. Oh yeah, show me your dad. Oh yeah, show me your bro. So you can see the difference is creating. So the next thing I have to add, don't forget to subscribe to my channel also, which is very very important. It's going to help us, and I do a lot of amazing stuff that consign this on this channel. So guys, don't forget to hit uh, the subscribe button and don't forget to comment on this channel also. So the next thing I am going to be talking about right now is uh is uh our imager and s1 imager and the reason why i am using this imager was because i wanted to like wide up my my um backup to be very very wide to the ear and that's the reason why i am using this imager to just widen the sound a little bit so i have to turn the volume here to about uh the widening sound here to about um 49 um which is um, cool which is about 1.42 and that was the only thing i did here and this plugin is from wave and it's a very nice plugin so the next thing i'm going to be talking about is the meta flanger and the reason why i'm using this meta flanger is just to give in that kind of a uh, backup kind of sound and make that backup sound very different from um the lead vocal so i have to set my mix to five here and let's take a listing oh yeah show me your mom oh yeah show me your dad oh yeah show me your dad oh yeah show me your brother gone oh yeah show me your sister gone oh yeah show me your mom oh yeah show me your mom oh yeah show me your dad oh yeah show me your dad oh yeah show me your brother gone oh yeah show me your sister gone so the next thing i wanted to add was the reverb and this is a, a stock reverb and what i have to do here was to take my dry all the way up a little bit and then set my room size all the way to 100 
and then my weight i didn't touch anything there it was just as default and just leave it that way so i have to reduce the volume of my reverb here a little bit because this is not the only reverb i wanted to use i wanted to use another second reverb so i'm just leave it there and let's take a listing Oh yeah, show me your sister gone. Oh yeah, show me your mommy. Oh yeah, show me your mommy. Oh yeah, show me your daddy. Oh yeah, show me your daddy. Oh yeah, show me your brother gone. Oh yeah, show me your sister gone. So in the aspect of the reverb, I have to add. Um, I use this stock reverb from Elfol Studio, and this is the first reverb. So I have to side chain to to my backup. As you can see, I have to side chain my reverb to this. And then which I have to add a reverb from uh, FL Studio stock and this is how I have to take my weight all the way up I bring down my dry because it was something I side chain I don't really need the dry aspect so I have to bring it down so let's take a listen to it with the reverb and see oh, yeah, show me all right sorry let's take a listen Oya show me your sister gone. Oya show me your mom. Oya show me your mom. Oya show me your dad. Oya show me your dad. Oya show me your brother gone. Oya show me your sister gone. As you can see. So the next thing I have to add was an EQ to the reverb, which I took away the high end and the low end aspect of it. As you can see, this is what I do. I usually do this in most of my mix. So the next thing I do it was just to side chain, which I use a stock. Um, plugin this is the fruity limiter which i use to when i have to set this to compress and i have to side chain to lead vox which is my lead vocal so where i send my vocal my backup to so i have to like play with my threshold news and the ratio and that was only what i did so the reason why i'm doing this is because i don't want my reverb to be overcrowded i want my reverb to only be active only when only when I only want my reverb to be active only where um, my uh, vocals is um, is active so my reverb will become active and once my vocals become silent the reverb will become silenced immediately that was all I did with the reverb so talking about the delay it was still as the same which I side chain and um, this is it bring down my dry set my timing all the way to whatever I feel it suit step four step eight whatever that suits your vocals depending on your uh, your tempo and um, that was that and then I used uh, an EQ uh, reverb also on my delay I don't actually do this every time but I used to do that so the side change also that was as the same as the way I did with the EQ so that to control my delay and that was everything I did with this and everything sounds this way Oh yeah, show me your sister gone. Oh yeah, show me your mom. Oh yeah, show me your mom. Oh yeah, show me your dad. Oh yeah, show me your dad. Oh yeah, show me your brother gone. Oh yeah, show me your sister gone. As you can see, me I no get the time for your problem. As you can see, me I no get the time for their problem, yo. As you can see, money they man mind I go chase after the moon. As you can see. Then if it run my race, I go run me until the end. I need that color, be me, just color, be me, just give me the love in. Make that color, be you, just give me the love, just give me the love in. Uh. So guys, um, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and don't forget to also like and comment on this video also. So I'm going to be going, I'm going to be cutting this video right here now so that um, in my next video, I'm going to be talking about how I'm going to be giving out this uh, template out. But before then i wanted to tame some volume of the reverb and the some volume of the of the of the backups to make it professional so i'm not going to be giving it out for now but after this video the next video is going to be coming we are going to be talking about how i'm going to be giving out the template out for free so in this video i'm not going to be mixing the lead vocals so we are going to be leaving the lead vocals to our next video also which we are going to be treating the lead vocals and mix it together so thanks guys and thanks for watching